Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, we want to understand the difference between the return keyword and the yield keyword. That's because the yield keyword is really, really the core you need to understand to get the concept of generators. So I already prepared a little code snippet here and we use a return state a return statement here yeah so it's a function and there's a loop and inside the loop we have a return statement so this print statement will never be executed because after the return the function stops and i call the function three times and save the result in those three variables and then we print the results. So let's see what's the output, it's zero. Why is that so? Because we call the function and the loop starts at zero in, in the range from zero to nine and we return zero, which means we stop the execution of the function and in the next call, this will start at zero again. So we get three times the result zero. But actually we wanted to return each single number from the range and also print the separator. As you can see, we didn't print the separator even once. Now, if we use the yield keyword here instead of return, we have to change this code a bit also. So I call this gen, we call next value. And here we just say next and pass the generator to it. We will go more in depth about that later. So next, as you can see, it's a built in function and it retrieves the next um, value from the generator. Now, when we run this code, you can see we get the separator lines two times and now the output is zero, one and two and not zero, zero, zero. So here you can see a basic difference between yield and return. Yield does not stop the execution of the function, it just interrupts the execution. So when we yield the zero, this part of the code will not stop as in the case of a return statement here. It will just wait here after this yield. So we get back the zero in first, then in the next call, we print the separator. And again, we go one step further. So we get back the one. And in the next call, it's the same. We execute this line and we go one step further. So as you can remember for sure, when we use the return keyword here instead of yield, the execution stopped and the next time we called the function, the execution started from zero again, from the range, from the beginning of the range again. So that's the crucial difference here. Return stops the execution, yield pauses it, and it resumes the execution at the same point.